we are now entering one piece of the puzzle behind the Omnibus innovation. Uh, let's take a look uh, at the why and how an open standard had to be created. Maybe you are asking, why did these people create a new standard from scratch? Because it simply did not exist. And in many projects concerning location-based services, we were missing such a standard. Here in Heidelberg, the reference implementation of the Omlox Hub was developed. We continuously tested this reference implementation. We installed all major technologies for positioning services and invited customers and partners to test with us the use and the business cases for their needs. When things are moving, this is not only something physical, it is the business, the engine of our society. Industry, manufacturing and logistics are the key ingredients of our work and life. Products are the result of many single steps. From the raw material, workbench, shop floor, assembly, transportation, combination with other parts, warehousing and logistics. Today, in times of Industry 4.0, and other lean digital approaches. The grade of automation is getting bigger and bigger. Autonomous guided vehicles, new generations of forklifts and other devices are indispensable. For some time, we did projects with customers who wanted to generate benefit from dozens of meaningful use cases. But when trying to convert a use case, to a business case, we always had to answer three budgeting questions. First, what are the initial hardware costs of the system? Second, what are the initial software costs of the system? And third, how much is the integration and the maintenance? Very often, the system was rated too expensive or not flexible and future-proof enough based on proprietary components. This changed now with the OMLOX standard interface. The OMLOX hub is based on standard components and can be easily deployed on-premise and in the cloud. You will never ever have to deploy again proprietary interfaces. Applications are no longer directly connected to your positioning technologies. Step one is now to configure position technologies to send data to the Omlox Hub. Step two is the Omlox Hub. It will transform the incoming data to a standardized object and apply very basic operations. Additionally, the Hub creates fence events based on the needs of your business logic. Step three is to subscribe your powerful Omlox compliant application to the Hub. The use case can then right away benefit from all information from all positioning technologies. Specialized, very powerful applications can then read the data from the Omlox Hub or subscribe to updates of all events that happen. Xetix shows a lean smart factory solution to control your plant's production in real time. Their tool will also lower costs by saving time and optimizing the efficiency of workers. Swan Insight helps to analyze and optimize space utilization and process automation using ultra-broadband technology. Indoor tracking is used to precisely manage your available areas and paths. Zigpos tracks mobile asset tags, RTLS tags and combines the information with RFID ID cards of employees. If something is manipulated, you will know who, do, who did the job. DeepMap provides indoor mapping and SDKs for web and native smartphone OSs. You can implement location-based services in various use cases in a very efficient way. Two examples for guidance of a foreign person on your floor. The delivery of goods is optimized to minimize costs and errors and the maintenance of a machine can be delegated to loan workers without detailed wayfinding instructions. Using the OMLOX standard, you can focus on your user's needs. 
User-centric design is not blocked by questions about technology, compatibility or hardware. You are free to choose the best applications that fit your needs. Why don't you start working with Omlox today? You will love it. If you think the Omlox standard is a good thing and you can use it, and maybe you have input for the standard, why don't you join our community and work with us to make the things even better? See you soon.